Hi everyone, my name is Jack and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you upload children in bulk to your Tapestry account via a CSV file. So here you can see my example. Along the top we have the criteria which you can actually upload to Tapestry. So we've got the first name, last name, gender, date of birth, UPN, EAL, free school meals, SEN, postcode and pupil premium. Now the only ones that you have to fill in in order for it to save is the first name, the last name and the date of birth. All the other ones you can leave blank if you need to and you can always go back and fill them in at a later date. Even if you are leaving some of these blank, do make sure your CSV file looks just like mine with the criteria along the top line and all the data underneath with no spaces in between. When you've got everything filled in, you'll need to save this Excel file as a CSV and you can do that by clicking File and then save as and you'll just need to make this drop down box click that and then you can see down here you've got CSV and then click save now you've got your CSV file saved you need to log on to Tapestry and we can get on with the upload process first things first you will need to be a manager in order to do this because you have to be able to access the control panel you can also only do this via the browser version of tapestry not the app to begin click your username in the top right hand corner and select control panel from here select manage children scroll down to the bottom of this page and you'll see the import children box the choose file button is what you need to click next so you can find your csv file saved on your computer and then hit upload Step one is just going to confirm the criteria that you're using. You can see on the left here, this is input name. So this is the ones that you've included in your CSV file. And then on the right here is tapestry name. So that's what they're going to be called on tapestry. All you need to do here is just to make sure that they match up. So you can see first name is going to be called first name. FSM is going to be free school meals and so on. If you're happy with that, you just need to click next step. Step two, you need to further refine these criteria. So you can see input value for gender is either M or F, which is gonna be either male or female on tapestry and so on. So just scroll down, make sure all of that matches up nicely to your liking. And if so, click next step. Step three is the final step where you can see the children on your CSV file and you just need to select the ones which you're going to upload. So you can either use the select all button here or you can do it individually using their tick boxes. This is all the data that you inputted onto your CSV file that's now going to be going onto Tapestry. So just give it a once over, check that it's all correct. And if it is all correct, you can choose to import. Now you can import children as active straight away, or you can import them as enrolling. It's up to you. I'm gonna choose active. So just click that button. And this will take you back to your Manage Children page, which you can now see those children have been uploaded as active. And that's it, you're all done. In this tutorial, we looked at creating a CSV file and then uploading children in bulk to your Tapestry account. I've been Jack, and I hope this has been helpful.